Okay, so I decided to make this video and I'm gonna put this video on my actual as a channel trailer All right, so whenever somebody looks on my page, this is the first video they see And let me just start out with something. Okay, I wasn't planning on making this video But holy shit man, it's getting to me bro because all these new motherfuckers that come into the channel that don't subscribe that just want to talk shit they fucking have this ideology that I don't like uploading my losses, okay? And let me tell you something. I have a 70% win ratio, meaning that I win 7 out of 10 times, okay? So if on my commentaries you see that I only posted wins, guess what, motherfucker? It mainly means that throughout the 6 matches, 5 matches that I played on that video, I didn't lose. I know, I know it's a shocker, right? It's a fucking shocker. And people don't see that, okay? I do post losses. It's just that I don't lose as often as I fucking win. That's not me um, trying to say that I'm good at the game or, or, or that, you know, everybody that I play is bad. But it's just me letting you know that there's a 7 to 10 chance that I'm going to win my matches. That's why you see more wins than you see losses. Now, the reason why I feel that people say this is because they maybe fought me before and they, and they won and they didn't see their win on YouTube. And that follows with the assumption that I record every single fucking match that I play. And that's not true. Alright? There are times where I do get on Naruto and I don't record. I, I know it's a fucking shocker. Because I'm a YouTuber. I'm supposed to record every single match that I fucking play apparently. And that's not how it works, buddy. I actually play and buy my games so I can play them. Not so I can record every single fucking match. And what the fuck do you expect me to do by recording every match and uploading them? What the fuck is that kind of bullshit mentality, alright? How about you start doing something on your YouTube channel, and then let me know if you actually are gonna fucking record every single one of your matches. You're not, alright? You're not. It's that simple. Now, there are times where I do record a whole commentary, okay? We're talking about a 20 minute, 15 minute long video, and regardless of whether it's only wins or losses, if I do not like the standard or the quality of the video and I don't mean 720p 1080p I'm talking about in terms of enjoyment entertainment if I don't like it I delete it all right and I, I do that a lot I do that a lot and it doesn't matter whether I have a shit ton of wins on the video or a shit ton of losses if I do not like the way the video turned out I delete it and I re-record it all right it's that simple all right it's that simple do not fucking assume that I record every match. Do not assume that I I specifically go on Sony Vegas, edit out the losses, and then replace them with wins. Because if you guys would notice, if you guys would notice, at the beginning of my video, actually, throughout the whole video, I do put in nin people's ninja info card, and I put my own. Like, I actually showed you guys me running up, finding somebody. And if you look closely, you'll see that, let's say I had 371 wins, on the next match, I'll have 370, 372 uh, wins, or if I had 100 losses, I'll have 101 loss. Like, you'll see that I'm not editing out anything, unless I tell you guys, hey, listen, I edited out a video or a match because guy wasn't playing or he rage quit it or whatever the fuck the, the case may be, right? Sometimes I do edit out matches, but not because I lost, because I have edited out wins, all right? And I, I know I'm repeating myself here, but now let's move into the other fucking topic. The other topic is uh, people saying that I'm a hypocrite because I do the things that people that I don't like people to do to me. Now, I don't like people using drive type on me. I don't like people uh, breaking my guard into ultimate. I don't like people spamming the living shit out of ultimates and running away. But guess what? Whenever you see me do that shit, it's because, hey... These motherfuckers are doing it on me, so why shouldn't I do it on other people, right? It's that kind of mentality that I have now, okay? So, basically, on Storm 3, you guys already know that no matter what happened, I, I always try to play legit, even though everybody was playing like a little bitch, all right? I always try to play with legit teams, you know, play legit, not try to spam, whatever. Now, on Revolution, I have a different mindset. I'm like, well... If I fight a certain amount of people and they all play me like bitches, I'm going to start playing like a bitch. Because let's face it, if you keep thinking that, you know, you need to play legit against people that are playing like bitches, you're just going to lose and you're going to get more frustrated and you're not going to enjoy the game. So, 
basically I try to prevent that from happening and people don't get that people just see it you know oh well you do counters you do a lot of fucking counters so you're a bitch bitch do you think I love counters do you truly believe that I love counters now okay I, I do use them okay but that's because the game basically forces you to adapt to that playstyle. You will not have to listen, play Revolution, alright? And do live ranked. Do do YouTube videos, do whatever. Just play ranked normally with legit teams. And try to play without learning how to counter, motherfucker. I dare you to do that shit. And I'm telling you, you're not gonna enjoy the game. You're not. You're gonna have to go and play your battles, you're gonna have to do endless, you're gonna have to do anything but ranked. If you wanna play without counters, okay? That's just how it works. Me personally, I don't like the counters, but I'm, I see them as, hey, you know, they're here. I can't do anything about it. I'm gonna have to cope with it. It's just like, if you don't like a person that's in your class, right? Or in your workplace, you have to deal with that person being there or that same room as you. You can't say, I'm gonna make sure to not have this person in this room. You can't do that. You have to kind of coexist with that person in that room. You know, that's what I do with the counters. I have to make sure I become part of whatever the hell the counter is in. Because the, the counter's in the game, and I'm playing the game. So I kind of have to use the counters because people are going to be using it on me. It, it's just that that simple, man. Like, if you know somebody's going to rob your house with a gun, and you have a gun, now you're telling me you're not going to use the gun because you you don't like violence? You're going to let somebody kill you? because you don't want to kill them that makes no fucking sense right if somebody's gonna kill you bro and you have the option to defend yourself and prevent that you better fucking do it it's that simple now this video isn't to fucking damage control it's to simply try to stop the flow of ignorance that's coming into my channel because i, I really don't like having to repeat myself especially when it's about a topic that I have already killed a hundred times by, you know, saying the same thing. And obviously, putting it in the comments isn't good enough. So I have to make this video. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video, okay? And if it educated some of you, I'm glad. I'm glad. If it didn't, oh well, shit happens.